Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you my latest pickup, the Jordan 5 Paris St. Germain Lowe's in the Pumas Game Royale Black colorway. I have never worn a pair of Jordan 5 Lowe's before, and I know these are being slept on by pretty much everyone. But I have to say, after trying them out for a little while, I kind of like them a lot. Stick around for a few minutes, and I'll show you all around the shoe, all of the many little touches and hidden features. There's a lot. Also, I'll talk about the Paris St. Germain collab and some of their history with Nike. Okay, let's get started. Yeah. So I picked these up at my local sneaker store and there were no lines or raffles for these. They were just sitting on the rack. I like fives, but I never even considered the five lows. I always thought there was just something off about how they looked, but keeping an open mind, I tried them on and I have to admit, they look way better on foot than they do in hand. So we decided to give them a shot and try something different. Now, this isn't the first Nike and Paris St. Germain collab, if actually far from it. Over the years, they've linked up on multiple occasions. For example, they brought us these very nice Jordan 1s. These black Jordan 1s, a pair of 7s, and this fire pair of Jordan 4s with the Paris logo on the heel. They had a few other collabs, but you could just Google those. To anyone who doesn't know, Paris St. Germain, or PSG as it's called, is a professional football club or soccer club to those who live in the United States. PSG is obviously based in Paris, France, and they compete in League 1, which is the top division of French football. From what I know, they are France's most successful club, having won many official honors and many league titles. Now let's take a look at these kicks starting with the box. But before I do, I ask that you please hit that like button, please subscribe. It would really help my channel and I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. So the first thing you notice when you see this box is a very large PSG and Jordan logo lockup printed on the lid. It's pressed in there to create a deboss effect and you can feel it when you run your hand over it. On the side of the lid, they did the same thing with the Jumpman logo. The color is this light grayish, brownish, greenish, earthy tone that I'm guessing is what they're referring to as pumice. The bottom of the box is solid black. When you open them up, you have the Jordan and PSG co-branded step and repeat tissue paper. And under that, the entire box interior is covered in this grass print to symbolize a soccer field. Overall, the packaging looks and feels pretty good, and it definitely makes them feel a bit more special than your standard pair. But for 200 US dollars, I expect nice packaging. When you pull the kicks out, the first thing you notice is that grayish brown pumice color in what feels like new buck. It's undeniably a Jordan 5 with the classic fighter jet graphics on the midsole and the rubber cage on both sides. Also in that area, they added a tag with a nod to the French flag, blue, white, and red. But they used more of a fluorescent, almost orange color for the red. The tag says Panama on it in black. Most people think it stands for Panama, which it does, but I've learned it's also used in France as a slang word for Paris. Working your way up the shoe, you have two sets of rubber eyelets on both sides holding a pair of Pumas laces with these really cool French flag aglets on the tips of the laces. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a sucker for touches like this. Also in this area, you'll find a double branded Jordan lace lock. Under the laces, you'll find more of that rubber cage on the bottom portion of the tongue and black 3M material applied to the top of the tongue with a blue embroidered Jumpman. It looks pretty cool at night when the light hits them. Check it out. The back of the tongue has the words I-C-I-C-E-S-T, which means here it is in French. And you also have the word Paris written on the inside of the left tongue. It's written upside down in case you want to flip the tongue down to face forward. The sock liner is that same pumice color and the insole is black with a red jump man. Working your way to the midsole, you have, as I mentioned, the classic Jordan 5 fighter jet graphics painted in the cement style and mostly a black midsole. Toward the back, you have that rectangular shaped air unit. And below all of that, you could see the transparent icy bottoms peeking up the side, which brings me to one of my favorite parts of this shoe, the PSG Jordan logo peeking through the rubber. It looks really good. The midfoot part of the outsole has debossed Jordan logo and a hit of black rubber in the toe area. Moving to the heel, you have another PSG Jordan logo embossed into this reddish orange glossy rubber. It's in the shape of a wax seal, like the ones people used to use in the old days to seal their letters. Nowadays, you can sometimes find these on bottles of wine. It's a cool look, and it definitely gives off those Paris vibes. In conclusion, I never thought I'd be rocking a pair of five lows. Like most people, I judged them before I even tried them. But instead of simply writing them off, me and my son decided to keep an open mind, and I'm glad we did. They're a cool pair of fall season Jordans, and a cool collab with a lot of little special touches and hidden features. Whether you love them or hate them, there's no denying they're a unique pair of kicks that you could pick up for retail. Which brings me to my only real problem with these, the price. I think these were overpriced at 200 US dollars and they should have been around 160 mark at best. Let me know in the comments what you think about them and would you rock these? That's my video on the Paris St. Germain Jordan 5 Lowe's. I hope you liked it. If you did, please show your support by hitting that like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell. You could also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at E21Life. I'm always posting random content there. 
as always, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe, everyone. Peace. Passenger now, cause Jesus untucked the wheel. What is it now? I know they all want the crown. It's heavy like